वेरी गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन हाउ आर यू ऑल वेरी फाइन फाइन वेरी फाइन ओके तो लास्ट क्लास वी हैव डन द मीनिंग ऑफ अकाउंटिंग आई होप यू हैव अंडर थोड़ा 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 इज रिक्वायर्ड हा पूरा पूरा नॉट रिक्वायर्ड टू कैन वी रिकॉल वट वी हैव डन इन लास्ट क्लास अकाउंटिंग इज अ Language of business. Language of business. It is required to communicate the information to other parties. So coming to definition, what I have said, accounting is an art of recording transaction in event of of financial of financial nature. Let me also understand what you are saying. Correct now. Of financial nature to whom? Acha to communicate the business result to whom? Excellent, excellent. Transaction means what? Any act, any business, any agreement means whatever we perform that is a transaction. What is the meaning of event? Consequences of a single transaction or group of transaction at a particular point of time is known as event. Correct, but we record only which transaction event, transaction and event of financial nature. So can you say me what is the financial transaction? Any transaction we satisfy two condition. First condition is what, which changes the financial position of a business. Second condition, which can be expressed in terms of money value. Very good, excellent. Correct. Then what is the meaning of financial event? Excellent, excellent. At a particular point of time, here means what? At accounting year end. Correct, yes, sir. Then we have discussed who, what is business result. So it means financial position and financial performance. Correct. What is what are the financial statement? There are four part of financial statement. First is balance sheet. Second is statement of profit and loss. Third is statement of cash flow. Fourth is Notes to account. Correct now. There is one more statement of changes in equity, but that I am not just giving because that is not required to understand. So four essential part of financial statement. However, balance sheet and SOP will be in our syllabus. Statement of cash flow and notes to account will discuss when we will pass the A foundation. We need to only remember the name, statement of cash flow and notes to account. How we have understood that balance sheet is required to understand the financial position of the entity. And statement of year is required to understand the financial performance of the entity means profit and loss of the entity means it will record all income and expense and balance will record all asset and liabilities. Correct? Yes, sir. Now of course we will be discussing what is asset, what is liability, what are income, what are expense. That we are going to discuss. Nothing to worry. Then user of financial statement we communicate to the user. So there are two type of user. One is internal user, other is external user. Internal means who manages the business so there are two internal user owner and manager owner will be different in different case for example in proprietorship proprietorship owner means proprietor in partnership partners in company in case of company shareholders however for manager means manager will be considered but in case of company they are known as directors they become internal user apart from internal user any other person will be known as external user you can say anyone government supplier creditor whatever is coming in your mind that become external user got it this much we have done then we started by recording so we discussed the transaction event are to be recorded in books of account so can you see this recording in books of account is known as book keeping it is known as book keeping correct this much you understood follow can i say in this way Ki there are two books of account. There are two books of account. First book is known as what? Journal. Second book is known as what? Recording in journal is known as first process of accounting. That is known as recording. And recording in ledger is second process of accounting. That is known as classifying. Correct? Understood? Can you say in accounting, bookkeeping is the starting point? Bookkeeping is starting point and preparation of financial statement is the ending point. Means we end with the preparation of financial statement. So we communicate 
the financial statement means we com communicate information via our financial statement. Correct? We record transaction event in journal ledger. Then from that recording, we prepare our financial statement that is communicated to whom? To the user of financial statement. Understood this much? Bolo. This much have you understood? Correct. Then just try to understand. Today, what we are going to discuss is what? Already we, we have understood that we are here to understand the grammar of accounting. Accounting is language and we are here to understand the grammar of accounting. Till we understand grammar, we cannot start any language. Correct now. We cannot start any language. Means we can use it, but can you say information will not come in a defined way? So we need to understand what are the grammar of this language. So that grammar is known as accounting, accounting principle. We call it what? Accounting principle. Correct. If you forget, I will just remind you whatever I write in good handwriting that you need to write down. Correct? Understood? If you forgot, then once again I am informing you. Start writing accounting principle. Accounting principle. Means can is accounting principle means rules and guidelines. guidelines for preparation of for preparation of fs fs means what uh, you can understand my emotions huh correct so for preparation of finance statement so objective is to prepare finance statement our objective is to prepare finance statement and then communicate the information through that so, communicate the information through that to the user, correct? So, can I say, some principle is required for the preparation of financial statement, correct? So, this principle, this principle are of two types. We can say, one is accounting, accounting concepts. And other is accounting, accounting conventions, correct? Accounting concept and accounting, correct? Con conventions means accounting principle is derived from. We can see in this way, is derived from. Accounting concepts and accounting conventions. Now, what is accounting concepts? What is accounting conventions? That we need to understand. In simple word, I will say right now, we will not do detailed discussion because it is very starting, means we are at the start of the accounting. So, I will not say detail right now. Once you will become comfortable with me, I will become comfortable with you, then badi badi baate karenge. Correct? Are you getting what I am saying? Abhi we will discuss only pyari pyari baate. So accounting concept means assumptions. Whatever assumption we take for the preparation of financial statement that become accounting concepts. Correct? So there are some assumptions taken, right? Now assumption, assumptions required, assumption required to prepare. Financial statement. In simple word, I will say assumptions required. Now you will ask me, sir, what are that assumptions? We'll discuss. Nothing to worry. Correct. What is accounting conventions? Accounting conventions means the guidelines which is derived from the practice of accounting. Because we are practicing something, so while practicing, we form our own guidelines. We form our own guidelines that become what accounting conventions. Accounting conventions. Correct now. Means I will give you one simple example. Have you taken any time sign from your principal, school principal? So I think he will be, he has signed your paper, but he has used green color. But there is no act. Means I have not seen that there is some act on that the principal should sign always with green paper, green color. But every principal, I don't know from where it comes. 
but everywhere whenever we there is some person who, who authorized by signing some application etc so they will sign by what by using green color i don't know why so can you see this is from practice they have derived some rule to so practice one rule has been created ki anyone who is what attesting some paper anyone who is attesting some paper he will sign by what green color that become conventions understood so that is been derived from the practice is there is it is not written in any act it is not written in any act ki they should use only green color but from practice that rule has been derived similarly we are practicing accounting from our tra traditional days it is not a modern accounting it is from old days we are practicing accounting so through traditional days some rules and guidelines has been created from the practice of accounting that become convention that become convention so conventions means what write down the guidelines guidelines derived from practice or use of accounting or use of accounting got it means when i am saying assumptions so assumptions cannot be modified this assumption cannot be modified cannot be modified means we cannot modify the assumption means if in indian accounting means if suppose in india we are performing accounting so we will use the same assumption whatever assumption is used in us so accounting concept remain same wherever accounting is done so it cannot be modified and it will remain uniform throughout the world are you getting what i am saying it remain uniform throughout the world but this convention can be modified as per our requirement so it can be modified as per our requirement means it might happen in india we are using one set of convention but in us the convention may be different as per their economic condition as per their economic condition are you able to understand what i am saying so this convention can be modified as per our requirement understood so this conventions can be modified can be modified okay sir understood thora thora we have understood now there are nine accounting con concept and there are four accounting conventions understood why what i am saying so there are how many accounting concept nine accounting concept and there are four accounting conventions so total become how much 13 so we'll call it rule number 1 rule number 2 rule number 3 i mean to learn how many accounting concepts and convention 13 accounting concepts and convention correct now now i will not teach you entire accounting concepts and convention immediately means i will take my time slowly slowly whenever i feel not is required i will teach you that particular concept means i will not teach you all the concept together at one place because i know how much you can understand and when you can understand so i will teach you the specific accounting concept or convention whenever it is required whenever i feel that now you can understand that accounting concept and convention can you see to understand accounting this is very important without understanding this can you see we cannot prepare our financial statement because our financial statement is prepared based on this accounting concepts and convention are you getting are we able to understand so don't worry we'll understand each and every concepts and convention but slowly slowly so today we'll take two accounting concept correct we will start with two accounting concept So we'll say rule number one. Rule number one. So rule number one. Whenever I say rule, so from your point of view, it should be either concept or convention. Either it will be concept or convention. While discussing, we'll discuss that whether it is a concept or convention. Correct. However, I have already informed you that nine concept 
फॉर कन्वेंशन करेक्ट यस सर तो फर्स्ट रूल इज वॉट सेपरेट आई होप यू मस्ट बी नोइंग अबाउट दिस सेपरेट एंटिटी कॉन्सेप्ट अंडरस्टूड दिस पॉइंट सेपरेट एंटिटी कॉन्सेप्ट रिजल्ट नोन एज बिजनेस एंटिटी कॉन्सेप्ट हैव यू डन दिस डू यू नो अबाउट दिस बोलो डू यू नो अबाउट दिस यू डोंट नो ऑलरेडी वी डिस्कस वट वी हैव डिस्कस बताओ वेन आई स्टार्टेड आई से राम एंड राम एंड कंपनी आर डिफरेंट बताओ वी आर डूइंग अकाउंटिंग फॉर हूम राम और राम एंड कंपनी राम एंड कंपनी तो दिस कॉन्सेप्ट से दैट ऑनर एंड बिजनेस आर टू डिफरेंट एंटिटीज करेक्ट ना आर डिफरेंट एंटिटी तो बिजनेस इज ए डिफरेंट एंटिटी अदर देन ऑनर आर वी एंड वी आर डूइंग अकाउंटिंग फॉर बिजनेस if ram if ram purchase goods it does not means it is an transaction for what ram and company so you need to understand whether ram has purchased for personal use or ram has purchased for what business purpose are we understand so ram and ram and company are two different person here are two different person let us in this as per as per this concept business and owner are separate persons or entities correct in other words in other words in accounting we record which transactions we record financial transaction means only tr those transaction which affect the financial position of business correct can i say in this way correct so in other words write down in accounting in accounting bolo only those transactions are recorded which affect the financial position of business correct means can i say just try to understand what i am saying ki ram started a business ram and company correct now whatever activities is performed in that business is actually done by whom ram correct now is actually done by ram now ram has done some fraud ram has some ram has done some fraud suppose he has taken money in the name of business and now not returning that money quite possible are you able to understand what i am saying so batao some case will be filed so legally case will be filed in the name of ram or ram and company in the case in the name of legally i am saying legally i am not saying as per accounting means in the eyes of law whether ram and ram and company are different no they are same only in the eyes of law same but whether police will come and catch ram and company where is ram and company but whether is ram and company no 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 it is not possible police will come and suppose he found guilty suppose he found guilty so he will catch what ram only na means can i say legally or practically ram and ram and company are same But in accounting, we have taken an assumption. This is an assumption taken. 
for performing what accounting so can you see this become an accounting concept assumption for the preparation of financial statement legally or really can you see they both are same person only so in practically police will come police will catch ram not ram and company but for accounting we have taken one assumption so this is an assumption taken for accounting assumption taken for accounting are you able to understand what i am saying correct are you able to understand so can i say it is assumed that can i say in this way it is assumed that business are separate entity are separate entity correct other than what other than owner of business owner of business understood means now one thing we have understood that only those transaction which affect the financial position of the entity will be recorded means can i say in this way any personal transaction can i say in this way any personal transaction which do not affect the financial position of business will not be recorded any personal transaction which do not affect the financial position of business should not be recorded in the books of account of ram and company means books of account of business correct so can i say in this way bolo so note write down note write down any personal transactions any personal transactions correct any personal transaction which do not affect the financial position of business correct will not be recorded will not be recorded correct can i give some example to understand whether you have understood or not you need to say whether it is a transaction or not a transaction when i am saying transaction it is financial transaction only you need to say whether it is a transaction or it is not a transaction so write down some example example number 1 you need to say whether it will be recorded or it will not be recorded can i start bolo right ram has purchased bike you know bike of rupees 50000 for his personal use for his personal use correct by using business cash understood have you understood what i am saying so ram has purchased bike of rupees 50000 for his personal use by using business cash but it is a transaction to be recorded it is not a trans it is not a transaction only means it is not a financial transaction but it will be recorded or it will not be recorded how many are saying not recorded hmm? you are saying one minute one minute i said raise your hand there is nothing to say how many are saying recorded or not recorded how many are saying recorded how many are saying not recorded means doubt is there means there are some who is saying correct 
there is some who is saying wrong. Correct now. One thing is clear. Means either it is a transaction, it is not a transaction. Just try to understand one second. Means I hope some of you have not understood the emotions of this statement, and some of you have understood the emotions of this statement. What I have said: any person transaction which do not affect the financial position of business. In this case, it is a personal bike, but a payment has been done from what business cash. So, but the cash of business will decrease or not? The cash of business will decrease. Decrease means it will affect the financial cash. Means it will affect the asset of business. So, if it will affect the asset of business, it will change the financial position. Will change the financial position. It become a transaction which will be recorded or not? Yes, 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 yes. Understood. Correct. जो दिखता है वो होता नहीं जो होता है दिखता नहीं. Correct. ठीक है. In my class, you need to be what? Always be mentally present. In my class. Correct now. I think you have understood the way of my teaching. I am not doing any rectification. No rectification. Only concept. From starting to end, it is concept. And one commitment I can give us. I will not give commitment of any marks. I will never say that by learning from me, you will score hundred. You will score sixty, seventy. I say fifty percent. Correct now. I will not give commitment because marks depend upon your effort. I can teach you, but if you will not study, how can you score marks? Correct now. So I will not give any commitment of marks, but one commitment I can give that you will become expert in fundamentals of accounting. Understood? That I can assure that your concept will become strong. Marks depend upon your self-study. Now whether you are doing or not doing self-study, that I don't know now. But ha, one thing I will change the entire process of learning. Correct? Yes, sir. So can I say yes? It is a financial transaction. So it is a transaction which required recording. Now, what will be how to record that I am not discussing right now. How to record will discuss. Right now I am just identifying which transaction will be recorded. This transaction will not be recorded. Means, if I say in this way, Ram has purchased has purchased bike for business use. Correct now. By using. Personal cash. Understood? Have you understood? So now Ram has purchased bike for business use. That bike will be used for business only. But a payment has been done from personal cash. But now whether it is a transaction to be recorded or not. It is a transaction to be recorded or not. So how many are saying recorded? How many are saying not recorded? One second doubt to hai. We still now you have not understood. If the two answer is coming, means what doubt is there? Means till now, maja nahi aa raha hai. Correct na? Means once once I started, just try to understand. When I was doing this part, you understood that you have understood. But actually, we are finding that we are not getting the correct answer. Okay, nothing is true. Dire dire, slowly slowly. So just try to understand. They have purchased bike, bike for which use? Business use it means it become an asset of business or not? Oh yes. So, but now this bike become an asset for what business? So that asset is increasing or not? That asset is increasing. Of course, the payment has been done from where? Personal cash. But bike will be used by what? Business and bike will become a asset. So that asset is increasing. So can you see in this case also it will be a transaction of which nature? Financial nature. Are we able to understand personal cash, but bike for which purpose? Business purpose. So it means it is also a transaction which is to be recorded. Understood? Have you understood? Correct. Are you able to understand? So both were what transaction to be recorded. Doka tha personal transaction. Doka tha personal cash. This I have just given to confuse you. 
Are you able to understand? Now, Thora Thora, are you understanding? Now, if I say in this way, Ki Ram has purchased, Ram has purchased bike for personal use. by using personal cash understood so now it is not a transaction because now it will not affect the financial position of business understood so now it is not a transaction means one second i am saying when i am not a transaction means financial transaction correct now it is not a financial transaction. So not a transaction. So it does not require any recording. It will not be recorded. It will not be recorded. Because it is not affecting the assets and liability of business. Understood. I hope you have understood. So can I say in this way? Any any personal transaction which affect financial position of business require recording. Any personal transaction which affect what? Financial position of business require recording. Correct now. Means what note I have given? The first note what I have given? This note. Any personal transaction which do not affect the financial position of business will not be recorded. So I can say in this way. Any personal transaction which affect what? Financial position will be recorded. Understood. We can say in this way also. Write down that also for understanding. Correct now means I can say in this way any personal transactions which affect the financial position. of business will be recorded now how to record we will understand there is no doubt about that right now we are just identifying what will be recorded what will not be recorded understood rule number one have you understood rule number one have you understood now come to rule number two rule number two so what is the rule number two? Rule number two is money measurement concept. <coughs> money measurement concepts. Now, as per this, as per this concept, what we have assumed that only those transactions which can be expressed in money value will be recorded. That is an assumption. Means any transaction which may affect the financial position of the business but which cannot be expressed in terms of money will not be recorded. There may be some transaction which is affecting the financial position of business but which cannot be expressed in terms of money cannot be recorded. That is an assumption taken. Means for recording we require money value. If there is no money value we will not recording. Means if there is some emotional value, the emotional value cannot be expressed in terms of money. Emotional value cannot be expressed in terms of money, therefore that does not require any recording. Understood? But it may affect, because if suppose there is some emotional value, so it may affect what? The financial position. It may affect the financial position. For example, death of owner. But uh, it will affect the business or not? Yes, it will 100% affect the business. But death of owner, how can we value in terms of money? Can we? Can we? Value in terms of money. We cannot value in terms of money. Ki what is the value of that debt? No, that is not possible. Na? That is subjective issue. For me, he is not at all important. For someone, he might be important. Correct now. Subjective term, what is the value? That cannot be determined. So therefore, it might be an important transaction. Means it might be an important event, we can say, for that business, death of an owner. 
are you able to understand but it cannot be expressed in terms of money therefore we will not think about this type of transaction so we have taken one assumption that any transaction which can be expressed right down in this as per this concept as per this concept only those transactions which can be which can be expressed in terms of money value will be recorded understood the best example we can say that of manager that of manager understood correct this cannot be expressed in money value then it will not be recorded now in terms of money so the question is that money means what what is the meaning of money correct now so money money just write down cash i understood cash means money and checks means not a money money here means money means local currency local currency of the country local currency the local currency so what is the currency of india rupee rupee correct inr inr it is a symbol inr is sim inr is what sorry denomination rupee is what symbol correct so local currency of the country in which what books of account books of account are prepared are prepared so of course if books of account are prepared in india so we record transaction rupees we record transaction in rupees understood correct note number 2 head on books of accounts are prepared in principle in principle place of business so batao where will prepare our books of account in the principal place of business it might have been ki we are doing transaction in dollar means we went to us and in us we purchase what a laptop for business so we will pay in what dollar na are you getting now the question is that will you record in dollar rupees na the question convert okay but we record in dollar rupees that is the point na are you able to understand means we need to find out which is your principal place of business so it might have been india is your principal place of business but transaction can be done in foreign currency so transaction can be done in foreign currency but it the recording will be done in a in what the currency of the country in which books of accounts are prepared so where we prepare books of account in the principal place of business so of course indian country me sorry if i am saying about india so we are talking about indian entities correct who have a principal place, place of business in india so books of account will be also prepared in india but transaction can be done in what other countries and the payment can be done in foreign currency then also recording will be done in local currency means rupees understood have you understood correct it means example if i say he purchase purchase 
what laptop from us in 20000 dollar zyada ho gaya 2000 dollar okay correct now of course we need to record but recording is done in what so right now of course we are we know that because we are discussing about indian indian entities the principal place of business will be india only correct it means we will do recording in what rupees for that what is required conversion is required so we will convert 2000 dollar into rupees so we need to find out what is the exchange rate is prevailing on the date of that transaction correct and suppose today is this transaction has taken place and suppose today $1 is equal to 75 let us assume today $1 is equal to 75 i think it is more than 75 right now it is coming to 77 78 ho gaya correct tha we recently i purchased something from us correct na so it is more than that so okay, guys 2000 into what 75 correct how much kitna hua 1 lakh 50000 1 lakh 50000 to 1 lakh 50000 rupees this become rupees so recording will be done in rupees not in dollar got it have you understood this point yes sir we have understood correct so money measurement concept means what as per this concept we have taken one assumption that only those transaction which can be expressed in terms of money value will be recorded money here means local currency of the country in which books of accounts are prepared books of account will prepared in the principal place of business understood means can you say this two concept this two concept are the basic concept of accounting without this accounting cannot start it is a basic basic concept of accounting why i am saying basic concept because when we have done the meaning of transaction last class you can see last class we have done meaning of transaction financial transaction so what i have given check karenge check karenge check karenge come to what meaning of financial transaction let's see what we have done the financial transaction are those transaction which changes the financial position of the asset and liability mean this is nothing but what separate entity concept correct na means this point has been taken from what separate entity concept correct na so this is nothing but separate entity concept and which can be expressed in terms of money value means what money measurement concept money measurement concept understood means without this so we cannot identify the transactions only so this become very basic concept of accounting basic concept of accounting understood have you understood this point correct you have written this thing ha huh? right na re in transaction go to transaction write down write down everything i will say ha huh? so can i conclude that can i conclude that the separate entity concept separate entity concept and what money measurement concepts are what are basic concepts of accounting basic concept of accounting got it simple i think understood correct so we have understood the basic concept of accounting we have understood rule number 1 rule number 2 now can we start recording correct means i will not teach you as per the content given in your icis study material i will teach as per my style correct now so i am not teaching as per the con chapter 1 unit 1 unit 2 unit 3 i think many units are given then chapter 2 unit 1 unit 2 unit 3 many units are given correct now so right now i have just done the basic part 
and now I am coming to chapter 2 directly. Correct? Therefore, I said initially you don't require a book because I will teach from anywhere. I will teach from anywhere. So, if you start seeing your ICS study material, you will be confused. So, don't, don't read book till I say. Because if you start reading chapter number 1, you will say, Are, teacher has not taught, teacher has not taught, teacher, Are, Are, this teacher is bakwas. Correct, he is not teaching anything, he don't know anything. Correct, now. So I will say, till I say, don't touch ICI study material. I will only say, the day when you, you can touch what? ICI study material. Chalega? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, can we start the recording? Recording means what? Can I say it is the first accounting process? Understood? The first accounting process. Correct? So, recording is the it is first accounting process okay sir first accounting process right can you see it is done in a book known as it is done in a book known as what Known as what? The book name is what? Journal, journal, journal. Re. Bolo yes or no? The name of the book is journal. Name of the process is what? Recording. Recording. Bookkeeping is what? Maintaining two books of account. Journal and ledger. The hodgepodge over here. Correct. Just listen whatever I am saying. We have done. Key recording means recording and classifying. That is done in two books, journal and ledger. So we are maintaining two books, and the process of maintaining two books is known as bookkeeping. Bookkeeping is a part of accounting, not entire accounting. Because bookkeeping means only maintenance of book, but accounting ends with the preparation of financial statement. So bookkeeping is not an accounting. Bookkeeping is only starting point of accounting. So bookkeeping is a part of accounting. Accounting is a wider term. Accounting is a wider term. Bookkeeping is a part of accounting. And the first book is known as what? And journal is prepared in which process? Accounting process is what? Recording. Correct? Yes. Correct. 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 Understood. It means now we need to understand the art of recording in journal. How to record in journal? That we need to understand. So of course, it should be some in systematic way so that it can be understood by anyone. So if you are recording, if you can only understand, then it is cannot be an art. So it should be it should be recorded in such a way that it can be understood by every person who ever want that information. Correct? Understood. Right on point number three. Point number three. Journal. Is the first book of accounting? Point number four the process of writing, correct? In journal. is known as what <laughs> journalizing the entries we call it journalizing the entries the process of writing in journal writing means recording in journal journalizing the entries e n t r i s the process of writing in the journal, writing means what? Recording, no? Writing means recording. Is known as what? Journalizing the entries. And that writing skills we need to understand. What is the art of journalizing? How to journalize the entries? How to journalize the entries? That we need to understand. But can I say? To record, we need to have some rules. 
for example if i say you should know the process of walking in a road correct na you should know the what rules of traffic here is if we don't know the rules of traffic you are going walking 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 what will happen accident ho jayega allah allah correct na are you getting what i am saying are you able to understand what i am saying so if you want to learn walking in a road so because i am teaching my son my son i have two son one is what 5 year one is 10 year correct so right now my 10 year old also don't know how to walk alone where in a road this is this generation kid correct they don't know and covid affected they don't know what is road only <laughs> correct now so right now because now i am i am worried about that they don't know anything about road sometimes they went alone so what will happen accident ho jayega so i am just giving them the rules of our traffic this is red stop this is green start this is orange slow 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 okay can this traffic rules so can i say same thing if you want to know the how to write in general there will be some rules of writing if you don't know the rules of writing so what will happen accident ho jayega are you getting what i am saying correct means if you don't know the rules you can't write you know what to write but you will not be able to write it you know what to record but you will not able to record it so it means we need to understand what we need to understand what batao the rules of recording for that we need to understand first rule number 3 now whenever i am saying rule rule number means we have went to accounting concept and accounting convention so now what we'll do rule number 3 correct yes sir yes sir bolo na so that is known as dual dual aspect concept dual aspect concept do you know about dual aspect concept i think this to you know dual aspect batao dual aspect you don't know maza aa raha hai chalo theek hai so as per this concept you don't know you don't know and you know that does not affect me correct na you know you don't know that does not affect me correct yes sir so dual aspect concept means what every transaction which we are going to record has two aspect assumption taken that is an assumption why to i can't say the reason for recording a rule has been made an assumption has been taken that to record there are how many aspect two aspect it means we need to record only two aspect of a transaction now you will say why not three rule is there na you need to follow that rule is there na so if you ask me i will also ask you question why green because my son has asked na same thing so why only green color we walking trade me jaate na maza aata na what to answer now can i can i reply then i will say no green means what walk green means walk it is rule baba rule follow that correct na the rule means follow you can't ask logic behind that can you ask logic no 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 the rule means assumption taken assumption taken follow that for accounting understood so dual aspect means what every transaction has how many aspect two aspect one aspect we know as debit and the second is what credit debit credit correct you remember debit credit ha huh? this to you know na so one aspect is what debit other aspect credit now ask me why i will say assumption baba assumption correct assumption taken two aspect one will be always what other will be always what you why not other one why not third one i said assumption taken for accounting follow that follow na you want to become ca na follow you need to follow it understood you can't record the other aspect in a transaction in a transaction understood it means in a transaction you have to find out two aspect one will be debit other will be credit so write down as per this concept as per this concept means i am writing as per this concept it is a accounting concept is assumption taken when i will come to convention i will say as per this convention you will automatically understand it is a concept or convention correct correct so as per this concept every transaction 
Every transaction is transaction. Ah, now we will not say financial transaction. Correct now. Every transaction has two aspects. One is what? Debit. Other is what? Credit. Correct? Understood. And and both both debit and credit both debit and credit are to be recorded. Oh, acha 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 acha. Both debit and credit are to be recorded. So it means in a transaction find out which one is debit, which one is credit and then record both. Then record both. It means now we need to understand which one will be debited, which one will be credited. For that we need to become expert. For that we need to become expert but I hope you have understood debit credit what I want to say. Now one thing you have understood in every transaction two aspect we need to find out. The system of this accounting, the system of this accounting where we record two aspects, where we record two aspects is known as double entry system. So we follow double entry system only. There is nothing single entry system. In accounting means what? Double entry only. Because we think about debit credit. The system of accounting, the system accounting by using dual aspect concept is known as double entry system. The system of that accounting is known as what? Double entry system. Now, it might happen, anyone whose father is a businessman, yes, have you seen their recording? They also record their data, na? so they, what they will do, they will have one red color book, understood? And that, if suppose some cash is coming, so they will record only cash. Or if there is some, what, credit transaction, so they will record only the name of the person. That is actually recording one aspect. That is only one aspect. That is not a single entry system. But whether in accounting we follow single entry system. No, 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 no. Means I will say that is not an accounting. That is not an accounting. They are recording but as per their own rules. They have their own rules. But we will not be able to understand what they are recording. They can understand but we will not be able to understand. Means I hope if you have tried also, you will not be able to understand what actually they want to say. Have you tried reading that anytime? Have you tried? If you have not tried, just try. But taking permission from your father, huh? otherwise big slap. Correct now? Nah? Or because one, one, one time I have also done, I started reading the books. Correct now? Nah? Are you getting? So one slap to me. Correct. So what I am saying, just try to understand that way of recording is actually not accounting. They are preparing their books of account as per their own rules. Correct. So it might happen sometimes someone will say we follow single entry system. Well, a hard show. This is not accounting. This is not accounting. Accounting means what? Double entry system. Double entry means system what? Debit and credit. Dual aspect concept. Understood? Are you getting what I am saying? So just write down one note. Write down the system of accounting. System of accounting which is based on which is based on dual aspect concept is known as Double entry system. Understood? Please don't be confused. The system of accounting is double entry system. But a concept is what? Dual aspect concept. Correct? Now don't interchange both these terms. Dual aspect concept is an accounting concept. By using that concept, whatever accounting we are doing, that system of accounting is known as double entry system. And this system has been given 
by one person. So we need to know the person because he is very important person. We are following him only. Correct now. He is known as father of accounting because he has given the system. The name of that person is Lucas Pasuni. Understood. So the founder of this system is what? Who is the founder? Lucas Pasioli. Lucas Pasioli. Naam yaad rahega. Lucas. We should know the father, na? We should know our, the name of our father, na? So because we are doing accounting, we are chartered accountant. We need to understand who is the father of this system. The father of this accounting is Lucas Pasioli. Right on. Right on. Right on. This system. is given by lucas l u c s pasioli correct he is from italy italy correct understood and he become what father of accounting father of accounting understood so you have a smartphone you all have a smartphone in that smartphone there is one google baba in google baba type this name so his picture will come then take print out and chipka de yahan par understood what i am saying correct Take print out and just stick that picture here so that you can identify who is Lucas Pasioli. Correct. You can do that. This is your homework. Chalega? Understood? Correct. So now, now this is not important to understand who is Lucas Pasioli. Ho gaya. Given now. Now we'll follow. Okay now. Now let us come to some other part. Ki you said sir, dual aspect means debit and credit. So what is this debit credit? What is this debit credit? We are not able to understand, sir. You said debit, which you said credit, sir. What is the meaning of debit? What is the meaning of credit? Are you getting that? We need to understand. Correct now. You said, sir, there are two aspects, debit and credit, but we are not able to follow you, sir. Sir, sir, please provide the meaning of debit and credit. So we need to understand what is the meaning of debit. What is the meaning of credit? So debit has been derived from a Latin word. Because given by what? Lucas Pasioli, na. So debit has been derived from a Latin word. Debor. And so D E P R E. And credit has been also derived from Latin word. Credor. And so. Not at all important, but we should understand because we are learning accounting and we become expert in accounting now. Not important for recording, but we should know everything. We should know now. Correct. So debit has been derived from which word? Debor. Debor means what? Two o. Two o. Understood. And credit means what? To give. means this is what actually the meaning as per latin dictionary means this is the this is the meaning of debor and creditor understood what i am saying means i have given you the meaning of debor and creditor not debit and credit understood what i am saying debit has been derived from word debor it means to owe Credit, sorry, credit has been derived from the word credit. It means what to give. But, but, just write down under this. Correct. These are not the meaning of meaning of debit and credit. Understand what I am saying? Means. This is not the meaning of debit and credit in terms of accounting. Because right now we are here to understand the meaning of debit in terms of accounting. 
तो इन टर्म्स ऑफ अकाउंटिंग डेबिट डज नॉट मीन टू ओ क्रेडिट डज नॉट मीन टू गिव तो सर व्हाट इज डेबिट एंड क्रेडिट एंड सर व्हाट इज फ्रॉम वेयर दिस वर्ड कम्स तो कैन इज इट बैक बेसिकली वी आर वी आर फॉलोइंग द अकाउंटिंग व्हिच इज फॉलोड बाय ब्रिटिशर्स बिकॉज वी वर रूल्ड बाय ब्रिटिशर्स एंड दिस डेबिट एंड क्रेडिट आर इंग्लिश वर्ड अंडरस्टूड इंग्लिश And so why we are following the word David and Great? How in every way it is only followed, correct? Every way it is followed. Now we don't use the David and Greater, correct? Now so it is English word. Understood? Correct. So David and Great are English word, and it does not have any meaning. Understood? It does not have any meaning. in accounting means if you ask me what is the meaning of debit i will say i don't know it is a name given to one aspect you will say me what is credit i will say i don't know it is a name given to one aspect it is as simple as if i ask your name what is your name ha huh? why this name only you also don't know ha huh? it is given by your father So I will say this is given by father only. Follow that you are following your name, na? So we need to follow the name given by the father. Understood? See, it does not have any meaning in accounting. You can't ask me, sir, what is the meaning of debit? What is the meaning of debit? It does not have any specific meaning. It is only represent one aspect of accounting. Credit is the other aspect of accounting. And one name has been given. Suppose just try to understand. Lucas Pasioli or the whatever the person has given instead of David and Craig, Ram and Siam. So we would have said Ram and Siam. Right now, the one aspect is Ram, other aspect is Siam. Maja aa raha hai. Correct na? Are you able to understand what I am saying? So this David and Craig has no meaning. Why I am explaining this? Because this type of what questions will come in your mind? It does not have any meaning. Right on. Right on. Does not have any meaning in accounting. Right on. In accounting. In accounting. Got it. So, so what is this? So, from accounting point of view, it represents two sides of an account. two sides of an account means if you ask me from accounting point of view we'll say it represent two sides of an account correct na so it represents it represents two sides of an account now you'll ask me so what is an account What is an account? In accounting, we need to understand account. Account is nothing but a T-shaped format. Account is nothing but a T-shaped format. You know T? It is a T-shaped format. So in accounting, we need to prepare accounts that you have understood. So account is a format. In which format? T-shaped. Correct. So account, account is a T. saved format correct means okay, this is an account this is one account and i hope you all know that in this account this side is known as what oh you know ha huh? are wa wow. very good jadu hai to coming from what understanding only na means one rule you know someone has said me this is what david have you asked sir why no so don't ask me also means it has been said this side will be in david okay sir okay we need to follow now we'll follow and this side is what are correct baba correct i also know you know so read it yes, means can i say david is left or right ha huh? left miss from your side 
तो डेविड इज लेफ्ट हैंड तो दिस इज लेफ्ट साइड लेफ्ट साइड ऑफ अकाउंट लेफ्ट साइड ऑफ अकाउंट एंड दिस इज वॉट राइट साइड ऑफ अकाउंट अंडरस्टूड मीन्स इफ समबडी आस्क यू वट इज डेबिट ओनली से लेफ्ट साइड ऑफ अकाउंट बस दिस मच समन से वट इज क्रेडिट राइट साइड ऑफ अकाउंट दिस इज ओनली करेक्ट ना समन से इज इन रोड वट इज ग्रीन वर्क यू सी ना ग्रीन मीन्स वॉट वर्क यू नो से ग्रीन इज अ कलर Looks like this. Whether you will explain like this, you say green means work, red means stop. If you ask from traffic rules point of view, correct now. You not explain about green. If green means what? Plant color. Are we doing? You not explain other thing. You say only the rules. Green means what? Correct. Simply here, debit means what? Left side. and this is denominated by the word dr and this is also denominated by the word cr and cr dr cr dr now one doubt will come doubt is what you know the credit had r so okay cr chalta hai but debit mein to sir r nahi hai so why you are adding dr acha this doubt has came in your mind How many of you have this doubt? But the truth will tell you. I was also having this doubt. But the mother was wrong. Why? Why you are adding D R? Is it D? Are you saying that credit is okay, C R is running? Now make debit a doctor. Tell me. Are you able to understand? This debit a doctor. Tell me. But the mind is wrong. Have you got the answer? What? Have you got the answer? Have you asked this question to your teacher, faculty? अरे यार पूछना चाहिए था ना हा? पूछे अच्छा दिस डाउट नॉट केव अभी तो व्हाट प्रिंसिपल वी हैव दैट डोंट लीव द क्लास टिल ऑल द क्वेरीज आर सॉल्व परेशान करना है ना छोड़ना नहीं है किसी को यू आर पेड फीस ना तो दिस एक्चुअली डी आर इज नॉट फ्रॉम डेविड दिस इज फ्रॉम डेबर ओ ओह अच्छा ना डी आर है ना आ रहे ना तो दिस डी आर इज एक्चुअली शॉर्ट फॉर्म ऑफ डेवर द सी आर इज द शॉर्ट फॉर्म ऑफ क्रेडर आर रिंग बट वी कॉल इट डी आर डेबिट बिकॉज वी आर यूजिंग द इंग्लिश टर्म डेबिट एंड क्रेडिट अंडरस्टूड द फीलिंग नाउ इमोशंस अंडरस्टूड तो डी आर मीन्स डेवर सी आर मीन्स क्रेडर but we are following english they are using debit and credit which represent two sides of an account i mean not important but we should know because someone can ask you sir what is dr so you should say dr means debit baba i know everything correct na why you are asking us understood this i hope this much to you have understood correct means i have just given the starting point of recording ki recording what should come dual aspect concept correct dual aspect concept means two aspect debit and credit debit will, will be represented by word dr credit will be represented by word cr debit will be left hand left side of account credit will represent right side of account this much now we need to understand how to record in general how to record in general this question will come now so for recording can you see we need to find out which transaction we recorded that we have understood now in that transaction we need to find out two aspect that we need to understand how to find out that two aspect one will be debit other will be credit that we have understood so how to find out that two aspect for that there are two approach understood there are two approach chalega correct means now actually we are understanding how to record how to record how to record correct for this we have 
to approach understood to approach this is the what whatever now i am teaching if you have understood this whatever i am saying then you will be at comfort stage in any any level of ca correct means whether it is condition or inter or fine correct so two approach for recording first is known as traditional approach and second is known as modern approach correct means one approach was given by in traditional days means from the days of lucas pasuri that become a traditional approach but now we are into modern world so a different approach is given that is known as modern approach however the end result of both approach will be same end result of both approach will be same this traditional approach is actually uk based uk means what england and modern approach is us based us means america now this traditional approach whatever rules has been given for recording that is known as golden rules you know golden golden rules of accounts golden rules of accounts understood correct and this will be known as modern rules of accounts of accounts understood this point correct now this modern approach is also known as accounting equation approach now of course you will ask me sir what is accounting equation so we will discuss everything accounting equation approach understood we will take some time for this we will very slow are you getting traditional approach acha do you know about golden rules i think without this so you cannot start what accounting means whatever you have done recording in your bachpan bachpan means what 11 12 okay that is bachpan so whatever you have done you have followed golden rules only golden rules and rules also you know rules also you know so let us come to first what what traditional approach Should I continue today? The initial days. Are you okay? Huh? Are you okay? Or do you want me to leave early today? Chale kara. Are you okay na? Okay. Chalo. I am with you. Whatever you will say, I'll do. I am actually student. I teach student point. You say, sir, leave it. I will leave it. You say, sir, maza aara. Padao. So padao dekhe. ठीक है? So traditional approach. of accounts you want me to discontinue bolo yes or no continue pakka bolo that is very important if i will teach and you will not listen then you will also die or i will also die are bola re so if you are not able to understand then i will die na are you getting what i am saying so should i continue pakka chalo are kya baat hai full determination so traditional approach of accounts what they have said ki there are two type of accounts ha huh? na na there are two approach traditional and modern now we are discussing what traditional so in traditional there are two type of accounts not aspects there are two aspects in a transaction debit and credit and that represent two sides of an account now accounts are of how many types two types 
not able to understand debit and credit represent two sides of a account now this approach says accounts are of two types every account will have two aspect debit and credit are you getting what i am saying are you able to understand so what are that two types of accounts so accounts are of two types one is known as personal account you know personal account are bolna nahi na thoda thoda yaad aa raha hai personal account we account now we can write down in this way ac chalega ac i think you have also used ac that is not air conditioner this is what accounts correct so personal account i am writing ac and second is what third third impersonal account impersonal account i said two then it become three na correct actually there are three impersonal can be real and nominal correct so there are first two type of account personal and impersonal are you able to understand impersonal account correct sometimes it become difficult once you know everything correct now therefore i am assume that you don't know anything correct so personal account so what are personal account bolo what are personal account which are related to any persons any person so which are related to any person which are related to any persons now who are persons now this just one question will come sir who are persons so in accounting there are three types of person there are three types of person correct one is known as natural person do you know what is natural person natural person means correct natural person means who is created by god means i am not saying about animal but human being can i say natural person means any account which represent human being are you getting what i am saying for example if i say what if i say that ram account so ram account become what natural person and personal account also correct if i say shyam account so he is also what a natural person a personal account correct second is what known as artificial person artificial persons artificial person means which is created by human being means any organization we can say any organization any organization correct that is what artificial person means can i say in this we can say any company any company for example reliance industry limited so reliance industry limited is an organization it is an artificial person so if i open ril limited account so it is also a personal account but artificial person can i say any partnership firm any partnership firm for example if i say what if i say any name the a n company mr a n company so this become partnership firm correct a name given to that partnership firm a n company so it become a n company account if i say a n company account that is also one account personal account if i say any bank any bank so if i say state bank of india sbi account so this is also what a personal account sbi account pnb account canara bank account whatever account correct now so this is also a artificial person it will be a personal account if i say any political party 
Are you getting what I am saying? Any political party. Any political party, do you know any political party? For example, you say BJP. I am not favoring BJP yeah, by writing this. So, all parties are same. Huh? Correct? So, BJP. So, if I am saying BJP account, so it is also an artificial person, means personal account. I hope you are understanding my emotions. If I say any school, any school, so any school, what? DPS. DPS school. So if I say DPS account, it is also an artificial person, personal account. Anything. I hope you have understood this thing. So this is known as artificial person. Correct. Understood. So I hope you have understood natural person. I hope you have understood what artificial person. What I want to say, all are personal account. Whether it is Ram account, whether it is Ram and Kamri account, both are what? Personal account. This one more known as representative a representative persons representative person sometimes what happens to simplify accounting sometime what happens to simplify accounting we'll use one account for a group of what natural and artificial person one account will be used. For example, just try to understand. I have 10 bank accounts. I have a 10 bank account. SBI, PNB, Canara, IDBI, SDFC, so, 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 so. So, it means I need to open how many accounts? 10 bank accounts. SBI account, SDFC account, Canara bank account. Hmm. Hmm. Correct. So, to simplify account, if I want to club this all account into one account, I will say only bank account. Are you getting? So can bank account represent group of artificial person? So that bank account become what? A representative personal account. Understood what I am saying? So that bank account become a representative personal account. So bank account represents all bank. All bank. Now suppose we have customers, list of customers. Mr. A, Mr. B, Mr. C, Mr. D. There are many customer. Correct now. There are many customer. Are you getting? For example, practically speaking, you are our customer only. We should, we should not say like that. But without you, we will die. Correct now. So you are our customer. So there can be many customer. And can I say some amount might be receivable from you? So that you are very important for us. Are you getting what I am saying? Some amount is receivable or not? Come into the business, come into business. In our, actually, in our business, we don't call you customer. We call you student. Student is student. Correct now. Are you getting? We have some other relationship. Business is something different. But when I'm coming into class, we are actually what? A teacher. I'm your guru. And you are my student. Correct now. Correct. What I am saying? In class, so I'm your guru. Correct. So what I want to say, ki Basically speaking, from business point of view, you are customer, and suppose there are many students, so I need to open each account. And suppose in balance sheet, we write on 100 accounts, the so balance will become lengthy, like this. Correct now, so to simplify the accounting, to simplify the presentation part, we will open customer account. That will become what? Representing all customer. Representing all customer. One account will open. Understood? To, to simplify the accounting, we do in this way. I hope you understand. There may be many employees, and to employ some amount is payable for salary. You need to pay them now. Now we'll open. Suppose in Alliance Industry, there are one lakh employees, more than that. So whether they will say do 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 do, and they will die. This much account who will open? So they will say, Acha, no, this much not. We'll open one account, salary payable account. So salary payable account represent all employees because that amount is payable to whom? Employ only, so we will not open employ one account, employ two account, employ three account, employ four account. In my organization, there are five accounts. It is easy to maintain five accounts. I have five employees, so it is easy to maintain five accounts. It is easy for me, so I can say name account, name account, name account, name account. Chalega. But for realized industry, they will die now. So we say open one account, salary payable account to, to simplify the accounting. So can you say representative person represent what? Madam? 
रिप्रेजेंट या ऐसे लिखो एनी अकाउंट एनी अकाउंट विच रिप्रेजेंट विथ रिप्रेजेंट आइदर सिंगल और ग्रुप ऑफ नेचुरल और आर्टिफिशियल पर्सन हैव यू एंडरस्टूड दिस फॉर एग्जाम्पल एग्जाम्पल वी कैन ओपन बैंक अकाउंट तो बैंक अकाउंट रिप्रेजेंट ऑल बैंक वी कैन ओपन कस्टमर अकाउंट कस्टमर अकाउंट रिप्रेजेंट ऑल कस्टमर मीन्स इंस्टीट ऑफ ओपनिंग ओपनिंग इंडिविजुअल नेम अकाउंट वी कैन ओपन कस्टमर अकाउंट दिस कस्टमर ऑल्सो नोन इज डेटर विल डिस्कस समेर आफ्टर दैट वाई दे आर नोन इज डेटर बट इज कस्टमर आर नोन इज डेटर Similarly, we can open supplier account, supplier account, and this supplier is known as creditor. Understood? Similarly, we can open capital account. So the capital account represents the owner. Correct now. It is only one person. Now suppose just try to understand. Ram is the owner. Ram is the owner. Can you say in a business, Ram and Ram and company are different? In an accounting, Ram and Ram and company are different, na? Correct? Separate entity concept, ha? Huh? In accounting, and na? Acha. In practical life, they are same, but in accounting, Ram and Ram and company are different. Means in the books of Ram and company, Ram will also come. Correct, na? And he is the owner. We should give importance or not? He is the owner of the business. We should keep importance or not. Now, suppose just try to understand. We are preparing balance sheet. We are preparing balance sheet. Correct. Suppose this is the balance sheet. Correct. And we are writing Ram, Ram, Siam, Gan Siam. Are you getting what I am saying? Now, who is the owner? Are you know? I know that person don't know, na? Because I have informed you, Ram is the owner. But can you see if nothing has been found? Can you identify? Correct. We should give importance. We will say no. Don't write Ram. Don't write Ram. Is so Ram write on what capital? Oh, acha. Means capital account represent owner. So we never write Ram account. We write on capital account. Capital account become representative person account. Are you able to understand? So it represent Ram. Ram is a natural person, single person. And so, so capital account is also personal account. It represent what Ram? It represent Ram. I hope you know about drawing account. Drawing, drawing to you know. Drawing account. Who draw the amount? Owner only na. So you don't open Ram account for drawing. You will open drawing account. So drawing account represent what? Owner. Which account? Representative personal account. Representative personal account. Understood. I hope you are understanding pura pura. Pura pura to I never say. Fifty percent, correct. I just want to make you comfort with CA. Actually, there is a lot of nonsense in what market. CA is tough. CA is tough. A tough baba tough. You don't do. You don't do na. If we are doing, then why you are saying to us tough? Correct na. In market wherever you go na. Acha you are doing CA. How come? Ajay, is anyone have asked and this question to you? Yes, na. Mother, you are not written also. Why you are doing CA? How much marks you expecting? Will you pass? Mother, we have not written. They are demotivating us. Correct, na. This is nonsense, na. You should ask. Have you done CA? <laughs> you should ask a second question. If they are asking, na, why you are doing CA? First time. Are you CA? No, no. Have you tried? No. Then why are you asking? You have no right to ask, na? 
you are not capable of that and then also you ask him we are capable baba we are capable so it happens it happens understood the capital account we represent what honor drawing account will represent what honor honor understood so this is what personal account i hope you have understood personal account i hope you have understood now coming to what impersonal account impersonal account now sir what is impersonal account so can i say impersonal account or account other than personal account you want to continue na first day i will ask because this is actually the the second day correct i will ask first second third day but dheere 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 i will never ask i will come teach i'll come teach i'll come teach i'll come teach and go will do musti but i will never ask but because you don't know me i don't know you let us become comfort correct na i should continue chale ga maza aa raha hai na so can i say in personal account means other than personal account means which is not related to person which is not related to person so simply i can say other than what other than personal account now in this impersonal account there are two types of account in this so first one is known as real account a real account real account means what do you know what is real account real account you know the rules golden rules you know what is the rules of real account debit what comes in credit what goes out rules you know but what is real account baba believe me this question i've asked at ca final level they also don't know just try to understand you pass ca foundation you pass ca enter now you are in ca final i'm asking question real account and they are not answering what i should think what i should think about them how they passed 50 percent <laughs> are you getting understood be comfort ha huh? be comfort perfection is not required only perfection is not required na be comfort and believe me you ask you ask this question to any any of your senior who is in ca final who is not my student now first thing who is not my student correct you ask bhaiya bhaiya what is real account let's see what he is answering if he is if he is answering correct okay sir thank you very much but if he is answering wrong na don't say anything okay sir we have understood how you pass ca foundation or ca inter aisa hoga just sometime you ask so what is real account of course real account means all assets of business all assets of business all assets now of course you ask me what is asset we'll discuss but you know what is asset where it is come where it will come in balance that also you know so all asset of business except debt that means receivable any receivable is also an asset for example you know debtor is an asset debtor is an asset but debtor is a personal account means what can be personal account cannot be what impersonal account so debtor is an asset debtor you write where in the asset side of balance sheet that you know na debtor you write on the asset side or liability side so debtor means what receivable and receivable means what an asset for real account are asset but all assets are not real account so all asset except that that means receivable means any account which are asset but are personal account cannot be what real account so can is real account means real account means write on all asset all asset of what business except what except that that means in bracket you write down receivable
means these are what personal account already we discussed customer account customer account means debtor and debtor is what personal account have you understood this point correct now so when i am saying asset means real account so this real account can be tangible asset and can be a reva intangible asset understood tangible asset and intangible asset can you give me some examples of tangible asset bolo what about you say right on furniture furniture land building etc 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 i know you know many examples correct can you give me some intangible asset huh goodwill are wow bada banker example goodwill and trademark are wow trademark any more example copyright or got a patent miss you all know example okay thank you very much so when i am saying real account just try to fix something in your mind real account means all asset except receivable except receivable receivable are also asset but not real account receivable means what personal account understood now whatever real account we have that can be divided into two category it can be either tangible asset or intangible asset detailed discussion of this will be done in later classes now coming to what point number b point number b nominal account नॉमिनल अकाउंट मीन्स वॉट बता नॉमिनल अकाउंट मीन्स ऑल इनकम एंड ऑल एक्सपेंसिस ऑल इनकम ऑफ बिजनेस ऑल एक्सपेंस ऑफ बिजनेस विल बी नॉमिनल अकाउंट करेक्ट मीन्स कैन यू से ऑल इनकम वेन एम वी से इनकम इनकम इंक्लूड गेन्स वेन आई एम से इनकम इनकम इंक्लूड गेन्स आई थिंक समटाइम योर टीचर है से गेन ऑन सेल ऑफ asset profit on sale of asset so income include gains correct now so income include gains so when i say income income will include gains also similarly when i say expenses so expenses include what losses so any losses will be also nominal account so when we say income income include gains whenever we say expense expense include losses so all income all expense of that business are what nominal account i hope this much you have understood bolo correct this is what personal account real account nominal account and can you say rules will be based on different nature of account means personal account will have different rules real account will have different rules nominal account will have different rules, rules will do you know the rules i am not coming to rules but to end the class let me say something because you know balance sheet and pl bole yes no because you have prepared balance sheet you have prepared pl account also so when i say just try to understand what i am saying do you know the format of balance sheet you know the format of what pl account also you can see you all know balance sheet you all know pl account now in pl account because you know the format because of that reason i am discussing right now because you are all from commerce background and even though you are from science background try to understand what i want to say when we say pl batao in the left hand side what do you write in this side what do you write in this side what do you write debit side what do you write are you matter particulars to you write baba in this what you write expense you write na particulars na like 
expense and in credit side what do you write income correct so the imbalance sheet what do you write in this side acha you know asset in this side what do you write can i say you should write capital and liabilities capital and liabilities bole yes or no i mean i don't know you might have been said that capital are liability but actually capitals are not liability i will discuss this point capital and liability are two different terms correct so capital and liability we will turn this side asset in this side my question to you as expense means which account real nominal personal nominal nominal income means what nominal acha means one thing is clear that income and expense are nominal account which will be always recorded where in pl account it will never come where in balance sheet the income and expense nominal account will be always recorded in pl account under so one rules but the asset is what real nominal personal real and as well as personal there are some asset which can be personal also we have discussed about that term correct now so can you say it is real as well as personal it can be personal also correct capital is what capital will be always personal capital will be always personal liability is what liability is liability i am asking liability is what real nominal personal ha huh? are nalayak right now we have done real means asset of business i said asset and liability of business nalayak understand what i am saying income no doubt income will be transferred to pl nominal account expense nominal account asset also you have understood real and personal capital account also you have understood personal liability will be always personal only because liability means amount payable to any person so liability will be always what personal account understood have you understood aaj kitna hai but i hope whatever i have said you understanding conceptually no ratta vigesana in my class no ratta vigesana whatever i am teaching i am teaching from the concept point of view if any doubt and if you feel i have already said give me 5 days once 5 days over then you will be able to understand my teaching style why i am saying give me 5 days because i know what you have done in your class 11 12 correct now so you don't compare my style of teaching with that style that was totally you know ratta vigesana i think they started directly with what rules aao bachcho tumhe sikhaye golden rules of accounting debit what comes in credit what goes out this is for real account then debit all expense credit or income aise bataya na are bol na re but what is that you have never understood that i want to say that in my class i am just coming from the basics i am just developing your roots whenever you whenever we construct a building first we create a base so i am trying to create a base so that you will never fall in ca final understood correct objective is ca final exam this is only a entry level your objective is to crack what ca final that is the final level now correct that is our objective thank you very much we'll meet tomorrow till then bye bye take care enjoy your remaining day